In this video, we're going to install the G Suite training series. That's a Chrome extension, free, self-paced G Suite lessons directly in your browser. It adds a training menu to G Suite services, including the admin console, calendar, classroom, docs, drive, forms, Gmail, Google+, groups, hangouts, sheets, slides, and sites. Let's get started installing it. You can install the G Suite Training Chrome extension directly from the Chrome Web Store as follows. Just sign in to Chrome, open the G Suite Training page in the Chrome Web Store. I'll provide the link in the description of the video below. And click the Add to Chrome button. You'll need to click the Add Extension button to give the extension permission with Chrome. And that's it. This Chrome extension is installed for any computer this user wants to use wherever they are. To view G Suite training lessons, sign into Chrome with your G Suite credentials and go to the G Suite service that you want to learn. In this case, I'm in Google Drive. And we'll click the training menu for a list of relevant lessons. You can search at the top for a specific lesson or browse at your leisure for other lessons below. Folders can be used to organize your files. If you have a group of files that are all related to the same project or topic, you could create a folder to keep those files in. Folders can be shared with other people, giving them access to all the files within the shared folder. To create a new folder, first click on the New button. Here's where learning on the job comes into play. It won't let me continue the lesson until I click the Instructed buttons. Now click on Folder. Type in a name for your folder and press Enter when complete. This is the cool part of the application. It's very interactive so I can type whatever I want in this box to complete the lesson. Here you can see that your folder has been created. It marks the performance of the lessons that you've completed and provides suggestions for the next lesson that you can cancel at any time. These lessons are available to your coworkers right while they're working so they can be in an application and get help for the project that they're working on task. Let's say I need to import a slide and I don't know how to do that. I could just load up the lesson right in my Google slide for the instructions. Sometimes you might find it helpful or even necessary to include slides from previous presentations in a new presentation. Google Slides allows you to do this easily. To import slides from an existing presentation, start by having your new slide deck open. Next, click the file menu at the top of the presentation window. From the menu that opens, select Import Slides. A window will open containing all of your presentations, as well as those that have been shared with you. Click a presentation to select. Next, click the blue Select button. The slides from that presentation will open and you can click on the slides you wish to import. Once you have selected the slides you wish to import, click the blue Import Slides button. Your slides will be inserted into the presentation and you can drag them to their correct location in the sidebar. Congratulations! You now know how to import slides from an existing slide deck into a new Google Slides presentation. Next to each of the lessons, I'm just going to cancel this, next to each of those lessons are share links that you can also share the link direct to the interactive session with another coworker. So you just copy the link and in your email you can write a new message just explaining what lesson you're sending them to. So in this case I'm going to send the lesson on importing slides. And when 
the person clicks on the link, they'll be taken right into the lesson. Sometimes you might find it helpful or even necessary to include slides. This next part is for domain administrators only. So if you have access to the admin console to Google Apps for Work or G Suite, it is admin.google.com. And we're going to install the G Suite training for all of our users in a custom training portal. To do this, we'll click Apps and we'll select Marketplace Apps. Now, we'll add services to your domain. In the G Suite Marketplace, we'll do a search for G Suite Training, or you might see it in the list below. Here's the app that's certified and made by Google. We'll just click Install App. Next, you'll need to authorize to continue. And these are all the actions that it'll be performing with your account. You'll agree to the terms of service and click Accept. That's it. It's installed for all your users and this little wizard will guide you through the rest and we'll notify our users. We'll go through this wizard here and there is a link on the last section that gives you additional setup for users before they can start using it so you can complete the setup right away and it takes you to the dashboard here where you can see what's going on for all the training for your users. You can give permission to those users. You can customize lesson plans to make short lessons out of all the sections that are available. Reports to see their progress and videos uh, are just showing each of the clips of each section in G Suite that they can learn. And there's domain settings here where you can have a custom logo and custom training content as well as contact information to uh, the nearest admin. The user can access this material by clicking the G Suite button and under the more will show the training for Google Apps or G Suite. From here they can get into the custom portal and it'll take them to the videos page where they can start learning each of the sections that are available to them. The Gmail interface is unique in labels are a great These are displayed in video format and it allows them to just view the video in, instead of the interactive training. If the users want the interactive training, they'll need to install the Chrome extension like we did in the beginning of this video. That's it. Training's now available for all the users in your domain, and they can access all this great content so that you can work productive, productively together.